especially in this COVID season, you need to boost our immunity. So we recommend you to have a fruit salad and also a cup of juice. My name is Kere Fugugi. Our business is usually sell fruit salad uh, together with the juices, sugarcane juice. And also we do some cocktail, uh, which, which entails a lot of uh, all the fruits. We have popo, pineapple, mango, we have uh, watermelon, passion, avocado, beetroot, all that. The liquid to make it to be blended is the sugarcane. This business, it has been from a long time, since I was primary, because it was from my mother, uh, we started the sugarcane two years back in 2018. The main reason why I started to make sugarcane juice, it was uh, the demand. Uh, since the machines came here in Kenya, I was, I was seeing other businesses doing the sugarcane juice, they were doing well, so we just uh, started the business. For the fruit salad, uh, if the person is eating here, a plate we usually sell 100, or uh, the big one we usually sell 150 shillings, which entails all the fruits, which I've mentioned, there's popo, there's pineapple, watermelon, there's mango, there is beetroot, there is passion, banana, avocado, and if a, a person wants an apple, he, he, he adds that shillings extra. The juice is now, the, the small cup which is 250 ml, usually sell 50 shillings. And the big one, 500, usually sell 100 shillings. The fruits, we usually get it in different uh, markets, but mo the, mostly the, the major market which we, where we usually go and get them is at the uh, farmer's market, which is Marikiti. So most of the fruits like popo, pineapple, watermelon, we usually get them from there. Avocado, also from there. Bananas usually get from another market, which is called uh, a local name Tsunami. They usually sell uh, nicely, but the apples usually get them from high range as we go to city park. It depends with the demand and the supply. When the demand is down, uh, usually it takes time before we restock them. But when the demand is high, we usually buy them daily. When I'm not there, we usually, sell, we usually send some people because we have their contacts. You just tell them quantity which you want and then they bring. Our day, it's quite tricky because our business is it's seasonal. So when it's hot, the fruits, they are, they are, the demand is high. So you have to wake up early to go and get them and get the best. When you, when you reach the market late, you usually find the, the poor quality. Yeah. So you have to wake up early, maybe like uh, by five you wake up and then six or in town so that you can go and buy and by eight or nine you, are, you have brought them here so that you can continue the job. We open at eight to eight thirty, closing usually close uh, five thirty to six, depending on the, the, the work of the day. The first thing which inspired us in choosing of the location is within the CBD. And then uh, we target customers from the offices. So all these buildings surrounding City Market, most of them they are customers. And they usually come roughly at lunchtime from 12 to 4. Some are from the surrounding uh, workers, people who sell meat, suppliers, and also of workers at the offices. <laughs> Place yenyewe iko kilia, ni place safi. Pia tena ni marafiki tumetoka na wao mbali. Pia tena ni place yenye inapendeka na kila customer. Hiko ni place no, yani yenye inapendeza kila mtu. Kila mtu ikuja akiona pia tena huwa anatamani kuingia ndani. Ile saa zingine pia tena unafika unapata kumejaa. Na mbili pia tena unangojana mpaka wengine waamke ndio pia tena wengine wakae. Sasa hivyo ndio huwa kila mtu anangojea kwa sababu sasa huwezi enda mahali pengine na kuna penye umesoea. Mtu akisoea mahali anasoea kwa sababu ile kitu yenye ameona hapo na nitamu. We sit up and we saw it to time. We are doing it to any of Yanga to wing your pende place in Mingi. So, me and Pendabo was a book place Yaba, economy to Safi, Chakula, and you in Tamu, Kunamatunda Tamu, Kunan Juicy Tamu, Okuja, Bakilam to Atafraya. Even as a penda killer customer, you could have a caribishon and a gear and a part of it to Tam Tamu. Every job has its own skills. So, uh, like early in the morning, usually come and after buying the fruits, uh, usually be between uh, let's say 11 to 2, mm -hmm. cut them, cut them, and put them in containers as you see. And uh, now from 2 to 3, you go slowly 
with cutting them because they are perishable. But when now it, it, it reaches four, you make sure the, the containers are empty. So when the customer comes, you usually peel for them and cut them directly to the, the plate so that you don't remain with the extra. You have to make your calculations wisely. Because, yeah, so uh, it, be, it depends. Let's say like when, you, let's say like when uh, it's raining because the fruits, they, they are not warmed, it's raining and they don't go so much. So you don't uh, put a lot of stock. There are some skills you can put, maybe like the, the pineapples. Maybe if you have remained with the pineapples, which are wholesome, but not uh, cut. If you haven't cut, you put the, the crown outside down. The challenges are quite many. It's how to balance the, the stock with the sales. Sometimes uh, you can find the, the, the demand is high, the fruits are expensive, and then the, the season also. The season can find the raining, raining season is not constant, the business is slow. But the seasonal nature of fruits usually, usually replace them. Let's say like now there's uh, the mango season. When it's over, we try to increase the popo season. Well, it's, uh, it's high. But there are some fruits which are all through the year they are found. So like popo, pineapple, watermelon, those are the, the major ones. But now the seasonal ones are like uh, mango, passion, such. Also avocado, which is mostly seasonal. But we uh, usually try to, sub to substitute with others. Generally, when you start the business, it takes time so that it can be running without investing or putting another capital in it. Let's say like now, like us, when we started the juice, we, we took like uh, six months before it picks up. And also, you have to make sure every day you put something aside, maybe like saving, aside so that it can, can, can at least see something that's coming out of, from the business. And also for the maintenance of the machines, also that was one of the challenges because uh, like the machines, uh, the repairs, it's costly, repairs. Eh? Costly, so you have to put some uh, enough capital or money so that you can be able to maintain it or repair it when it's damaged. Everything needs time. Uh, when you have to have patience with it, you have to have patience and also perseverance, and you have to be very, uh, you have to calculate wisely, your, make your calculations wisely so that you don't go losses. Eh? So that the profits you, you get, you, you try to save them so that you can be able to maintain the, the, the business also. The secret ingredient is uh, try to bring the best, the best fruits, serve the customers wisely and carefully, and also try, it's like a, you just try to do your best so that you can be at the top. I can recommend, uh, it's, it's worth it, uh, but before that we have to make some calculations for the location of the business, because when you when, when set it somewhere there's no flow of people, business is down. And also you have to have patience. In raining season, it's, you don't you don't get a lot of profit. It's a good business. Uh, with patience and with God, all things are possible. The lesson I've learned from the business is that you'll have you'll meet a, a variety of customers. Some people are uh, they are very appreciative. Others are aggressive others uh, so others are uh, uh, quick tempered others are they're cool even though you do a mistake they come back but others they, they don't so you just have to be to learn from all all the variety of people and try to try your best so that you can do your best next time when the fruits are not at all, just give them out to, to, to neighboring uh, customers or maybe neighboring people who, who are some of the workers here for the meat, meat suppliers. When you do them a favor, they come back. Hello, my name is Kenneth Ngoge and I usually work here at City Market. Usually sell fresh fruit salad and fresh sugarcane juice, especially in this COVID season. You need to boost our immunity, so we recommend you to have a fruit salad and also a cup of juice to boost your immunity. Welcome here at City Market, stall number one.